So today I just wanted to talk about how to take the blow out of dating, but how dating and getting back out there is necessary for your spiritual growth. Dating will show you your triggers. Dating will show you where you are spiritually and where you still need to work on yourself to align with the perfect partner that God has lined up for you. Okay, so let's tap down on a few things really quick. The common theme that seems to go on with dating, you meet someone, you like them, you think you have an instant connection, the chemistry seems to be there, it's all good, good, good for the first week, two weeks, and then it fizzles and the person goes ghost. That happens a lot. When this happened, the common thing to do is to start asking yourself what happened, what shifted, what changed, which already gives away your power and puts you under them. If you're already wondering why didn't they like you, you're putting them on a pedestal up here, which is not what should be happening. What should be happening, you guys, to take the blow out of dating is you really have to make every single thing about you. And I don't mean that in a selfish way. I mean that in a way of spiritual growth. You attracted this person for a lesson. And if you miss the lesson, it's just wasting time. You really will just keep rinse and repeating the same thing. What you want to do is instantly treat it like a school. You are your own teacher. You are grading yourself. Okay, so you attracted this person in. Ask yourself the hard questions. Did I communicate from a place of love or was I passive aggressive based on fear, based on wanting to people please? When they started sending mixed signals and the breadcrumbing began, did you start making excuses for the person in your mind? Well, maybe they're busy. Well, maybe it's this. Well, maybe it's that. The fact of the matter is, you guys, if someone likes you, they will get in touch with you. If someone wants to see you, they will see you. No matter how busy, they will make time if they are interested. So you cannot ignore the red flags. Do not take it personal. It is not about you. You attracted this person in because God's source universe is trying to tell you that you are worth more. You do not live on breadcrumbs. You are not a bird. But until you agree with God's source love that you deserve more, you will continue to attract people that breadcrumb you because you think that's what you deserve and you get what you believe, you get what you think you deserve. You have got to learn how to detach quickly and move on gracefully. You cannot spend too much time trying to figure out the why when it comes to trying to figure out the other person because you will waste so much time. You are never going to get these answers. The only thing that matters is you. What role did you play? What space did you hold? What are you attracting? What lesson are you learning? And then move on gracefully or else you will waste so much time and rinse and repeat the same guy. I just spent the last four years of my life rinse and repeating the same guy. So you have got to trust me when I say connect these dots now. So I am going to leave you guys with one last tip, which is a little bit of tough love, something I had to come to terms with, but this is also why you have got to get back out there. You have got to start dating. It shows you your triggers. It shows you what you need to work on. It shows you where you need to spend time spiritually working on yourself. But the fact of the matter is, and this is the last thing I'm gonna leave you guys with, is oftentimes we go on dates and we'll be dating someone for a month and it's going along smoothly and then it starts to change and we get mixed signals and then the person goes ghost. And then you're like, oh my God, but this is my dream guy. He was so perfect, he was so this, he was so that. But guess what? If he doesn't choose you, he's not your dream guy. If he doesn't choose you, he's not the perfect guy. And that's something I had to come to terms with over the last year, you guys. That's a huge factor in this love story. You need to take the time to connect the dots, work on yourself spiritually, mentally, physically, because the man that God has for us, you guys, is up here. He ain't down here playing games, sending mixed signals. He knows what he wants. So clearly, we need to elevate ourselves to come meet that fella. And that's what we're gonna be talking about in this workshop. I'm super excited to share everything with you guys. Like I said, this has been the most painful, pivotal, but powerful year of my life that has really rooted me in this peaceful space and obviously full of inspiration as always. So I am going to share everything I did to really heal everything within me and share it with you guys. Bye.